I'm out taking the puppers for a walk. Got three of them that I'm watching this week. Um, one of the locations that I'm gonna hunt tonight, we've had a pair of hogs that have been coming on, coming in almost every night between six o'clock and eight. And so my plan is I went and poured a line of corn um, and I'm gonna try to double up. And since I just shot um, a hog with a bullet from Slovenia, I'm gonna go to a bullet that I got from Australia this is the Woodley Weldcore PowerPoint soft nose. That is 160 grain. And at the distance I'm gonna be hunting, if I can get them to line up, and I just have to be patient about this, I should be able to double up because it's such a, it's a, it's a monolithic bullet. <sighs> I'm going uphill, I'm tired. A monolithic bullet, that's 160 grains at roughly 40 to 60 yards. It should easily pass through the first one and into the second one pretty quickly. So look at these pretty dogs. I headed toward the stand around 5 p.m. It was a gorgeous 50 degree day. The wind had been gusting all day, eventually shifting to my advantage. It was quiet for the first hour, almost too quiet. A pair of raccoons strolled in around 7.30 p.m. I took this opportunity to practice lining up on a double shot. 30 minutes later, I could hear a boar growling to my northwest. He was really loud. I spotted him with my Pulsar Axion XM30 to about 80 yards away. He stayed hidden behind these trees doing a security sniff, never coming out into the open. Unfortunately, you can't hide from thermal technology. Woodley Weld Core. Not a double, but it's a hog. All the way from Australia. Look at that shot placement right in the cheekers here is full of blood hopefully y'all can see that sniff test he actually smells good i might be actually a pull some meat off of this guy here i'm gonna guess he's in the 180 ish range yeah let me get him pulled out of here let me roll him over real quick see what the other side looks like Yeah, there's the exit right there. If you watch the shot placement over and look where the bullet struck him in the face, it is obvious I forgot to sight in this bullet. I was using the zero from my Hornady 160 grain round nose interlock bullet. At this short range, the bullet hit the bore at two times the speed of sound, impacting him at over 2,100 foot pounds of energy. The Woodley Weldcore 160 grain power point soft nose bullet face planted this 160 pound bore, leaving a massive exit wound. I'm doing a load development on my new AR-15 quarter bore caliber. Until next time, stay tuned for my next adventure.